Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Welcome again to our YouTube channel. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from our friends at Sapphire. This is the new Toxic HD 5852GB Edition. This is a very nicely designed card. Follow along as I show you all the features, specs, price, and other things about this great card. Okay, here we show you once again what's in the retail box. We showed this to you in the unboxing video, but for those of you who didn't watch the unboxing video, we'll go over this once again. You get the Sapphire box. This box is made of 100% recyclable material, which is great for nature, great for the environment. You've also got the graphics card user manual, the SimHD plug-in for instant messenger, the installation and driver CD, which also comes with a little sticker to put on your case. It says Sapphire in case you want to show off that Sapphire label. You also get the card itself a DVI to standard VGA connector, a single crossfire connector, and both a 6-pin and 8-pin power connector. This is everything including the Sapphire Toxic Radeon HD 5850 2GB retail box. Here we take a look at the card itself. As you can see, Sapphire has made their own custom design card and did not base it just off the standard reference design by ATI. What you see behind this shield, or what you can't see rather behind this shield, is the Vaporex cooling. That's one of the main things about this card. Vaporex is a new type of cooling for a car which uses heat pipes to dissipate the heat away from the GPU and out into the air to keep your car nice and cool. It's also got a fan right here on top that spins to also keep additional cooling. Okay? In the back, for your power requirements, you have a single 8 and a single 6 pin power connector. Cameraman, can you zoom in there and take a look at that? Most power supplies these days, they already have these connections on them. So if you have a new power supply, you'll have no problem. If you have an old power supply, however, that's why there are these two connectors. These two connectors plug into the old school power supply and then will then plug into your card to provide the power. If you have a 500 watt or lower power supply, I would suggest getting another power supply as this will probably overtax your video card. Okay, come around again. Get the cameraman to close up here. We'll show you the model number of this card. This is your PCI. This sticks into your motherboard. I know most people probably know this, so it's redundant, but there are some people that are brand new and actually know nothing, and so this is for their benefit. Okay, so here we take a look at the rear I.O. Notice that we have two standard DVI connectors. We have a display port and an HDMI connector. This card fully supports ATI's iFinity. What you'll need to have though is though two of the cards in DVI and one of the cards coming from the display port. I don't know why the HDMI doesn't allow you to do it, but at right at this point it doesn't. There is a new card though coming out from ATI which will be released the next week that actually has six display ports so that you can run six monitors off a single card. This card only supports currently three. So that's pretty much the card itself. We showed you the front, the back. You can see it's standard size. It takes two slots in a, in a thing. Not much more else to it. It's a very pretty card, very well made, and I just want to go over something real quick that I really do like about this card. A lot of the video cards that you see made these days, they have their printed circuit board exposed and naked to the world. And when many people set their cards down, this can damage the card. This design by Sapphire allows you to set the card on either side without touching any of the electronic components. Sapphire, I don't know if anybody else has mentioned this, but this is a damn good design and I give you a really thumbs up on this. Great work. Okay, so the scores are in. And I gotta say, this card runs pretty good. It runs also very cool. 
So for those people out there who are looking for a card for their system that plays games well and doesn't heat up, this is a great card. It runs cool, it runs fast, it's very well priced, and the two gigabytes of memory, when, and if you're losing low resolutions, it's really not gonna help you very much. But if you're playing games and you're running high resolution, that's when this two gigabyte of memory comes into play. Running with all the features turned to their maximum performance on high resolutions eats up memory. And this two gigabyte card can handle that no problem. With the designs, prices, specs, everything overall, I give this card a solid editor's choice from motherboards.org. Thanks for watching.